What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what we're gonna focus on is something that you guys have been requesting a lot, which is curly hair. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna cut a nice baseline wet. Then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna diffuse it. So I'm gonna showcase some diffusing techniques. Then we're gonna go in and do some dry cutting to create concave layers, remove some of that bulk, get a nice shape to the overall curly look uh, of the cut. And I got a ton more techniques packed into this video. So, so much to go over. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Before we start the video, I just wanted to give a shout out to all the FSE partner stylists out there. You guys are awesome. There's over a hundred of you out there. If you don't know what the FSE partner stylist program is, I do live classes for these stylists. And in turn, you get put on a map that I promote to the millions of people that watch this channel on a monthly basis. So they can find you guys as FSE partner stylists out there. Stylists that train together, grow together. So if you wanna find out more about that program, go to fscpartner.com or click the link in the description below. Now let's get started with the video. Here we go. All right guys, so my product of choice today is the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Velvet Cream. This is a very lightweight product. I'm gonna use it as a cutting lotion. Um, the reason I like to use a cutting lotion is it helps keep my sections cleaner, my partings cleaner, it helps hold the hair out of the way a little bit when you have a little product in the hair. But then also I'm gonna get even saturation with that product all the way through the hair as I work through the haircut. So you're kind of uh, taking care of two things at once. So the parting that I started with is a left-hand side parting. Then I kind of curve that down, right down center back. So you'll see how it kind of curves away. And then I go from the occipital bone to behind the ear as my first section. Now, the way that I'm gonna work this curly haircut, we're gonna do half of it wet, half of it dry. So I'm gonna go through and cut my baseline uh, with no elevation. Night, uh, I'm gonna do that wet. So, and the reason I'm gonna do that wet is because I want a nice hard line. Uh, really want to build in some shape. I'm trying to take this hair as short as possible um, uh, to keep it looking clean, but I also want this to be a little bit longer haircut as well. So, um, that's kind of a choice that you have to make with your clients as well is when you look at their hair, assess it, and sometimes you have to take it a little bit shorter than you want to. Um, to make sure that it stays nice and healthy. And then as long as they come in on, in that routine, they can keep their hair growing long and strong. So I work my way through the hair, um, cut that one length, work my way through the front, cutting the one length, and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna use a diffusing technique to really pull out those curls. So uh, we will go through, we cut the opposite side as well, and now I'm gonna go through and section it for my diffusion. So you'll see I section off the top, that heavy side. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Turbo Light Plus Blow Dryer. And I'm gonna use that on a medium airflow um, and high heat. And that's typically what I do in the salon when I'm working with curly hair. I do have to send a huge shout out to Danielle who works in my salon. She uh, she gave this mannequin a perm and it looks super natural. Um, the hair's got a really nice wave to it. So uh, kudos to her. I believe she used a Paul Mitchell perm on this thing. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm gonna ask her to do a class on how to get that wave because this was a straight mannequin and now she's got really naturally beautiful curly hair. So um, I go in now, here's some keys to diffusing hair to make sure that you don't get a lot of frizz. So I will hold that diffuser. The reason it has kind of those fingers in it is I hold the hair in it and I don't move until the hair is dry. Um, at least 80 to 85% dry, then um, I might run my hands in it a little bit, but I, the less you put your hands in the hair, the less frizz is gonna happen. So it's really crucial between that, uh, when the hair is wet and when it's 85% dry to make sure that you're not putting your hands through it. Now what I wanna do is I wanna build up that shape. You can see how it falls kind of flat, it starts to expand out, gets that Christmas tree kind of look to it. So what I wanna do is build in uh, a nice kind of build up of weight. I wanna accentuate the cheekbones um, in there. So that's what I'm gonna go for. So I'm gonna start my layering. You'll see I'm gonna do some concave layering throughout the haircut. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna push everything towards the face. So I'm standing behind the head, pushing it towards the face. 
and that's gonna give me that over direction and then start to build a little bit of weight towards the back. So I'm not trying to do fully consistent layers. I wanna have that shape where it kinda of opens up the face uh, and pushes that weight back off. So I will show you guys, you can see that angle. So it is over directed forward, not extreme, but I want to, until I get to that back hairline area, which I'm showing you right now, I wanna over direct all that hair forward. Then we're gonna do the back a little bit different. So now I'm going to go to the opposite side. Notice that I have clipped away um, the top section where the hair gets heaviest. So now I'm working with the light side. Um, you'll know you're on the wrong side if your elbow is hitting the head. So just make sure that you kind of keep that aware. You want that freedom in your elbow. And now I'm going to go through pulling everything towards the front of the head and cutting that short to long. Notice how I kind of twist my hand up, so I really want those layers in there, but I want a curved concave effect in the layers. So I'll continue taking those sections. Again, remember we're over directing everything forward towards the face. So that last little bit, I get to where the hairline starts to connect in the back, and now I'm gonna go through and work the back line. So I'm starting a new guide. So we did over direct everything forward from the ear forward. Now I'm gonna go through and cut rounded layers and follow the round of the head. So I'll take a little bit of the uh, old hair, bring it into the new. And I'm just gonna continue in a clock shape all the way around the back of the head till I get to the other ear. So key things here, body position, make sure that elbow is nice and free, it should be away from the head, not on top of the head. And then you're cutting short to long. You should also know that you're cutting from the crown, from that center, out to the hairline right so that's how you'll know that you're in the right position as well but just keep that elevation up continue to cut those concave layers and that's what you're connecting into um, you don't have to really work on a guide so what we cut at the very beginning with the wet hair we were cutting that outer perimeter line that was just to get a nice healthy feel to it that's not our guide though right so we're going in and i'm going to cut layers and that's all dependent on what I want those layers to do. Do I want short layers? Do I want long layers? So you can see that build up already on the left side of the head. And now I'm going to go through and cut that top section. And we're going to cut um, a rounded shape. So the weight's going to be pushing back off the face. And we're also going to cut kind of a fringe or a side bang into this curly hair. I'm using a point cutting technique. What that's going to do for me is give me a little bit more texture and movement to it. And I'll just continue working those diagonal forward sections, over directing it over the part and cutting my line. So I'll go with that until I run out of hair. So you'll see I scoop that hair up. I'm also using a wide tooth comb, uh, which is another key thing when you're cutting dry curly hair to use a nice wide tooth comb. You're not looking for a lot of tension when you cut curly hair. So it keeps the tension nice and light. So look at that shape starting to unfold. I'm gonna diffuse it a little bit more. Um, I just sprayed it with a little bit of water, hit it with the diffuser again, uh, reactivate that product, and then I'm gonna go in with the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Cloud Whip. It's a really lightweight kind of wax product, um, but I just define the curls with that, spin them in my finger, and really build up that shape. So you can see the difference in the shape where it was a Christmas tree kind of shape going from a uh, much more triangular shape to having a much more even kind of balanced look to it when you look at her straight on and not having that heavy weight at the bottom. So finished off with a little bit of finishing spray uh, and then we're gonna give it a spin. So hope you guys like the video. Let me know if you have questions in the comments. That's what that comment section is for. So if you have questions, I'd love to answer them about the cut. Um, again, thank you to Danielle for making this thing curly for me and hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe to this channel, um, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, everything at Free Salon Education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.